Hey there guys and welcome back to Tech Easily. So this is the fourth video in my Python series and if you guys haven't watched the first three parts then I recommend you guys go do that first before continuing on with this video and like always the first three parts will be linked in the description box down below so you can go and check them out but for now if you guys want to know how to get started on data science with Python in Jupyter Notebook and how to install data science and data visualization packages such as NumPy, Panda and Matplotlib, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so before we dive right into it, let's talk a little bit about what data science actually is and then we'll go into the installation process. So data science is gathering understanding from data that can be structured or unstructured. And this can be done through various techniques um, scientific techniques and algorithms etc so basically what you're doing in data science is it's like a whole journey or a process of taking data from different sources it doesn't matter you need to be able to sort out the information you just gathered you need to be able to add visualizations to it for example pie charts histograms etc and then you need to be able to communicate those results so you can help the business take its decisions. So now that we've looked a little bit into what data science is, let's get started in installing our packages and then I'll walk you through what each package does and what it's used for and why we need to install it. Okay, so guys, the first thing that you guys need to do is open up your Jupyter Lab. And just like I showed you in my previous videos, you can go through you can go to this through your command prompt or through the Anaconda Navigator like I have open here and then just click on launch. And one thing to note you guys here is that it always opens up in the browser that you have chosen by default. So for me, it always opens it up in Google Chrome. But if you have a different browser set, it would always open it up in the one that you have. So here I have a new program. Um, a new file again like I showed you last time you can right click this and rename this if you guys want but I'm just going to get into installation of the packages that you need okay guys the first thing you guys need to do is go into your anaconda navigator and launch your Jupyter lab now alternatively you could go through your command prompt like I've talked about in my previous videos but I'm just going to launch it from here and it's going to open it up in my browser. Another thing to note you guys, and I got questions about this, was um, what browser it opens up in. Now this depends on your default browser. I have Google Chrome chosen as my default browser in my settings. But if you guys have a different browser, it will open up in the one that you have. So just so we get that out of the way first and I'm just going to create a new notebook and start installing installing all the packages inside my cells. Again, you guys can rename this and save it and all that good stuff, but I'm just going to be focusing on what packages we're installing for data science, why we're installing them and what use we can get out of those packages. So I'm actually going to just zoom you guys in before we start the installation. So the first package we want to install is NumPy. So the command we use is pip install NumPy. So if you guys are wondering about what pip is, pip is actually a package manage management system. And we use it to install and to manage software packages that are written in the Python programming language. And I'm going to be using pip to not only install NumPy, but as we move on further on in this video to install Panda and then also uh, Matplotlib. So now let's get into what NumPy is and what it actually stands for. NumPy stands for Numerical Python. And this is probably one of the most popular and useful scientific libraries in the Python programming language. 
it's really really popular and it supports multi-dimensional dimensional array objects um so really large ones as well and other libraries such as matplotlib which we will be looking into later on in this video so once we have our command typed in we just want to execute this so click on run at the top over here and another way to ensure that your package has actually been installed you can go into your command prompt so if i open it up here and you can actually type in the same command you did in your Jupyter notebook so pip install numpy and now when you execute this you should be able to tell it'll give you a message telling you whether it has been installed in your machine already or not so let's press enter and see if it has so we get this message saying that requirement is already satisfied so numpy in and then it tells you the location and then it also tells you the version so that's a really easy way but it's actually great to double check and ensure that your packages have been or are being successfully installed inside of your machine. Now let's see this in action. So let's, like, let's write a little program in Python and see if everything is working the way it should. So I'm going to say a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 4. Now I want to print the result of adding these two numbers together so I'm going to create another one and I'm going to say, let's just zoom this in, I'm going to say c is equal to a plus b, oops, okay, and what I want to do now is print out c onto our screens so I want the result of 9 to be printed because um a is five and b is four so let's put this in print and then you're going to open and close your brackets end it off with a semicolon and inside here i'm going to say c and i'm just going to execute this program and click on run now as you guys can see that our desired output of nine has been printed on to the screen so we can see that it's definitely working. Now, another thing to note, you guys, is if I have multiple cells and I'm not sure which cell I'm on, if you see in the left-hand corner here, you get like a blue line here, which indicates that this ha and this cell has been selected and also a blue border outline for your cell, which lets you know. So that's one thing to note. Another thing is, Let's just say you don't want to create C and you just want to print A plus B, put that inside our print statement here. It will give you the same result. It will give you 9. But if you want to change that up, um, great thing you can do is if you just want to go back into the cell, just click on it and you can basically just edit or change or add anything you want. So that's really, really handy as well. So I'm just going to put A plus B inside of my print here instead of creating C. And if we run this, as you guys can see, it produces the same result. I can get rid of any numbers. I can modify anything if I make mistakes or if I change my mind. Now, next, you guys, I want to install Panda into our systems. So again, I'm going to put in the command first and then I'll talk to you guys about what it is, why we want to use it with data science and all that stuff. So again, you guys probably guessed, it's pip install and this time we want to install panda. So the great thing about panda is it can be used for data manipulation. And another advantage is its flexibility. So there is the benefit that allows you to work with larger data sets. So that's a really, really key point. And it's actually made for Python programming language, which is really interesting as well. And it also efficiently handles larger data sets as well. 
So now that we have our command typed in, I'm going to again execute it by running it and it should work. Again, if you guys want to double check this, we can go back into our command prompt really, really quickly and just double check that it has been installed. So let's quickly open this up again, put in the same command and hit enter. So just like last time, it's telling us that the requirement is already satisfied, panda in, and then it tells you the location. And then it also tells you stuff like the versions and stuff. So now that we're sure that Panda has been successfully installed, let's look at the last part of this video, which is installing matplotlib. And then I'll talk you guys through about why you need to install this and advantages that it brings. So let's get into that. So let's now look into installing matplotlib. So again, it's the same pip. So we're going to say pip install and this time it's matplotlib. Now what this package is used for is actually data visualization in Python. It's a really useful package and it's actually built on numpy. So like I mentioned in the beginning of my video, um, it's very fast and efficient as well, and it can be used for making things like graphs, histograms, bar charts, pie charts, and even scatter plots. So some of those things I'll actually be going through in my future tutorials. So you guys need to make sure that you have this installed. It's actually amazing the amount of stuff you can do with this. And Again, we just need to run this command. You can go into your command prompt and double check if it's installed using the same command like we did for the other two. But I do have this installed onto my machine already, so I'm just gonna run this. And here we have the third package installed into our systems that we are going to be using for data science. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I really hope you guys understood the basics of data science and then including that in Python and installing important packages like numpy, panda and also matplotlib. So we will be using these and continuing on in our next videos. I'm going to be bringing in some data that we're going to use to then sort it out and create visualizations and so stay tuned for that it's actually going to get really really interesting from here until we code again thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and please feel free to leave any suggestions or recommendations or questions that you guys may have in the comments down below and I will get to them as quick as I can. And I will see you guys in my next video.